Got the breakfast? Yeah, we're in bed. Sick. Don't tell Megan. Alright, good morning everybody. Uh, we're in Texas, headed to Clutch Kickers. Figured we'd start the vlog. The whole team is about to sit in a truck for 12 hours, but you guys get the time transport to Florida. Uh, let's put our feet in the sand. Later. Snake Ruski. That's a, yeah, that's an arrow. Oh. That looks like an arrowhead. He's over here, his mouth's open. That boy hissed. Time to get the tent. In the beautiful Florida heat. What's up? <laughs> uh, man, the vlog's back. We just made it to uh, Clutch Kickers, Florida, round three. Uh, what is it, Friday? We're just getting set up. We just got the awning up, tossing some fuel in. We'll do practice today. But yeah, feeling good. Glad we're here. Yeah. All right, here we go. KK Tornado Here we are. Here we are. Dun, 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 dun. The invoice. Yeah. <laughs> Beautifully packaged. Love it. A better round than last time as far as weather wise, but let's have a little bit better round as well on results. So last time we finished third, gotta finish first this time. Right. Toss on a little castle sticker. Long story short, I got a fresh new windshield. Shout out to the guys at Castle Auto Glass. Yeah, man, we got like a front glass sponsor, Dallas, very affordable. Uh, yeah, so if you guys need any windshields, we just had my 240 done and my wife's Subaru done. Uh, both went really, really well, smooth, like 30 minutes time. Anyways, shout out Castle. I wanted to give him a plug for the windshield. Later. Got me, dude! Ah, my man said 140. Busted. Oh, that's the
What's up? Jeff's here. <laughs> there he is. Hi. <laughs> Alright, so that was the first first laps. Uh, the track is like dramatically slick. I don't really know why. They're blowing it off right now. So I think uh, first run, I spun out. This kind of muscle memory of the track, it felt like I could like, I don't know, like I just, the car wasn't there for me. And then uh, the other runs were kind of shit too. But this is how it goes sometimes, we're just warming up. The track will come around, I'll come around, but... That's what practice is for. The car's all sandy to match oh, yeah. the track right now. But yeah, I feel good. Honestly, like, uh, my muscle memory and, like, some of the sections, I feel like, like, me and Jeff were talking about, from, from outer one to the touch and go to the outer two, the touch and go to two, I'm already feeling a lot better. Like, I'm like, cool, good angle, switch back quick. But I can't commit with throttle right now because the track's so loose. And yeah, I think we're burning a, a 265 Accelera 651 Sport. Tomorrow we're gonna drive on 285, so just a little bit of a change. So it's all good. See you guys later. <laughs> all right, red lights on. What's up, guys? So still on Friday, second practice session. Uh, alternator looks like it failed us again, um, which is just so weird. I was basically taking a run, and I kind of realized the car wasn't running at full power. And then obviously you get off the track and I was able to look uh, at my gauge and I had like an 18 to 19 volts in a red light. So yeah, it just kind of appears that the alternator just opened up and gave us full throttle. And uh, from there we had blown a few fuses, such as the fuel pressure and uh, the actual fans. So anyways, car got grumpy. Boys are changing out the alternator. We'll get back out there. Blueberries, I'm starving. <laughs> All right, Friday's practice, success, alternator, fail, fixed. Uh, adjustment to the part shop max control arm, or rear toe arm, loved it. Feeling really good tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, uh, qualifying, wish us luck, here we go. Tell us about it again. Yeah, so I work at Alma Vita Coffee Shop in Seaside and we have a roasting facility about 15 minutes away, so I decided to bring you guys some coffee. Sick! Yeah. Thank we you love so much. coffee, man. Oh, I appreciate Let's it. I didn't this. grind it because I didn't know if y'all needed it grind, but. Nice. Well, you know, I was telling him, I was like, we've been needing a grinder, so this is the perfect reason now to get one. Now we're gonna one. get one. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Of course. Perfect. Looking good, kid. You gotta curb the bills, everybody. Curb right. the bills. All right, good morning. Warming up here at the track. Uh, today's Saturday, so this is qualifying. What up, Adrian? What's up? How you feeling? Solid. I feel buff. Feeling good? Getting the pump in. <laughs> Jeff, how you feeling? Solid, man. Feeling good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just need you to go put it down a clean lead run, and we're. Good go. That's right. So yeah, first up, first up today is a. Uh, first up today is a bolt check on the car. Uh, yesterday we had that alternator issue, but no big deal. All right. Yeah. Anyways, it gets a little hectic. So uh, from here, I'm gonna start driving practice. It'll go right into qualifying. Usually it turns out to be a pretty quick day, but anyway, 
here we go. qualifying run uh, not the best 79 basically we had a, a plug wire that was fallen out of the motor uh, so we are going to uh, obviously we had recrimp them and put those back in so I feel a lot more confident about that and then I'm just back here gazing at Adrian <laughs> yeah so uh, Adrian right now he's just uh, making some adjustments to the rear end we're kind of going back to a buttery qualifying setup. Uh, earlier in practice, earlier in practice, we were experimenting with more of a grippy setup. So we're kind of pulling that out now, just to float around the track and try to make sure we put on a good show. We'll see you guys after the second qualifying. Ride. Caden, what's up? <laughs> you forgot it, huh? Alright, basically, all I want to know is what happened. Okay. Alright, so we're here at the track Saturday. I think it's close to 9 o'clock at night now. First qualifying run didn't go that well. I was down on power. Uh, we had talked to you guys about basically we lost the plug wire, which was weird. 
So then we had fixed the plug wire, obviously, and then as we were going back out, the car still fell down on power. So, I don't know, man, it was super weird. And then, as I pull up to the line, of course, it starts raining. So I have a car now that isn't running right, and it's raining. And then from there, I got a sight lap, which went okay. And wildly enough, like, no lie, by the time I took a sight lap, drove right back around to take another lap, like, half the track had dried up. Florida's insanely crazy with the weather. So, yeah, basically, I just took one qualifying run today. 79 puts me around, I think, 17th in qualifying is what the judges mentioned. Uh, so tomorrow will be interesting, man. The boys are trying to fix the car right now. We're a little bit in the air still at this current moment, so we're gonna, we've changed the spark plugs. From here, we're going to put the car, like, light the car back up and run it. Pull all the coil packs off to see if any of the coil packs had maybe failed because, like I said, we pulled the plugs, they look good, we put fresh plugs back in it, we just can't really figure out why it's not running properly. The car is backfiring now, which is weird, it usually doesn't backfire. So, we got some issues, man. Wish us luck. Shout out Adrian. Shout out Adrian. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Guys, 10 o'clock, uh, we're checking the fuel filter now. We've checked the plugs, the plug wires, the injectors, the coil packs. Uh, something did happen to where I was asking around town some questions and Zach from Clutch Pickers came over, checked our holly out. My throttle position was off, so we were thinking that the throttle basically was full on, but the holly was reading 90-ish percent, percent. It's a long day. Uh, so with that being said, that could have thrown the tables off. But the guys are still just gonna check the fuel filter, which I think looks probably pretty good. Let's take a look. Looks amazing. Looks good. Looking clean. So we'll put that back in, and then we'll take another lap around and hope that it was just the throttle position sensor. Here we go. Adrian's got sand all over here. What do you think, Adrian? What happened? Done with a lot of shit. And I think we had some issues, but we have a temporary fix for now. We gotta go find some fuel pumps. So fuel pumps seem like we just manually from the regulator added more fuel pressure. It's like midnight? 11, 11.43. But yeah, so the whole team's been working super hard to try to figure this issue out. And I wouldn't say we exactly figured it out, but we definitely got somewhere, some progress. So from here, a big storm's coming and we're gonna get out of here. So it's almost midnight. Tomorrow we're racing though, and that's the good news. Later. All right, it's a new day. What's up, babe? Just cutting some cucumbers. All right, guys, 12 o'clock last night, back at it. Today's game day, Saturday. Kind of narrowing things down to uh, fuel filter or fuel pressure issues. Maybe fuel pumps. Uh, it's kind of confusing right now. So basically what we realized was, you know, kind of as I'm driving the car, like first gear, second gear, it's got power. And then as third gear builds up, it's like starving for fuel. Um, so yeah, we're not quite getting as much fuel as we need. And maybe that's the issue. And then from there, we have basically cracked open the nuke reservoir. So we basically just open this thing wide open so it's getting our 60 PSI, um, not the fix we want. The fuel cell is in such a wild position, it's very hard to just pull it apart and get into it and look with the bulkhead. All of these are rivets. So we have about 40-ish minutes right now before the first practice. Um, so yeah, Let's see how today goes.
about that one. What do you think, Jeff? Like, I threw a fuck ton of angle, but I was way inside because the car was down on power again. I thought it was going to be easy. Fuck yeah. Yeah, so basically in the burnout box, I, see I was in that. second gear and it was like sharp, sharp. So I was like, all right, cool. Let's just make sure third's good. Click three and it was sharp. And then it was not. It was like it had a dramatic. And then I just was like, well, fuck. And I had to clutch kick the whole track again. It feels like we're kind of back to, you know. Not where you are, but it's yeah. over. But like it was sharp and then it wasn't. Like dramatically like a line, like. Full timing, over 200 degrees. Okay. That's what I got for you. That makes sense. I was sitting on, I was sitting on the line at like 160s, 170s. And I did a fat burnout. Look, 160, zero degree. This is timing degrees. Timing versus coolant temperature. So we're at 93 ohms. It's pulling on air temperature too. Let me look at the log. But the your okay. engine builder will kill me if I pull all this out. I can just make it safer. Okay. Is that fair enough? Yeah. Make it win. Fuck. So hey, what's it doing? For, all right. For relevancy, on a natural aspirated car, two degrees of timing, you'll lose like 65 horsepower. Right. On ethanol. Right. Four degrees is like 100. Right. So 240 degrees, it should be pulling timing. Yeah. To keep yeah. the engine safe. 220 is kind of a gray area. Yeah. I mean. I got you. Between 200 and 220, there should be a little bit more resolution So there. we were hot out there on the burnout. Well, it's like I was at the 170 Woo! mark, so if I get over 200s, it's starting to pull time. Let's see here. Where Our ambient temperature today is what? It was 100. Ambient temps 100? Are you sure? Well, I was... wouldn't doubt it. We're talking about intake temps, so the air yeah. going across the temperature sensor yeah. in the intake. If it's over 170, it's pulling a degree of timing. Well, we're 91 right now. Buddy, it's pulling there too, I can guarantee it. All right, guys, a little update here. We're headed to the top 16, but damn, it has not been easy. Uh, we had a very late night last night, as you guys know, and then now today we've been literally cranking on this thing every second I'm not driving it. The team has done almost everything, dude. I like literally almost have a new car. I'll try to start in the back. We've done uh, all new fuel pumps. We've checked the inline fuel filter. We also put fresh filters on the pumps in the new performance tank. Headed forward, we updated the crank sensor, the cam sensor, the uh, map sensor. Um, now we're basically still struggling a little bit when the car gets warm. Uh, basically, I had just battled Ben Julian, who won the last race, and somehow, bro, like with the sweat on my forehead, I fucking won. So shout out Ben, I thought it was a one more time, honestly. I threw the car in on entry and immediately just felt a huge bog. My line was shit. Ben, I love you, dude. Like, that was literally one more time. I'll have to review the footage as to why it wasn't, but anyways, the team is cranking again. We're back at it. We're trying to figure out how to get this thing 100%. Top 16, I battled battle Alec Honadale. He had already won again, first place qualifier. So that dude's on one and I'm not on one. I am down some cylinders. We're finding spark plugs that are weird. I'm going to keep you tuned in. First 3.0 plugs or some shit. Maybe. Hey, Justin. Yeah. Tires are good? Yeah. All right, guys. This is the plug that we think looks funny. If you guys can see that. It is super brown. No timing marks. A lot of fuel, it looks like, in there that's not burning versus something, let's say, like this one, where you can see a timing mark. And you can kind of see where these just appear to be a little bit more burnt up. So we're out here struggling. We are trying to figure this out. Number six is just like it. Six is the same. No timing mark.
there a cone under the front end? To the pit? Just uh, if you want to mind, just. Oh, yeah, we gotta wait. Give me a call. Okay. Put, okay. Put the audio here. Uh, who's got a TIG welder? Nobody? I don't know. Nobody. The, the uh, filler next broke off the radiator. Yeah, it's broke it's off. It's done. Yeah, Sean yeah. next to us. We have a welder. Aluminum? Make sure to cut off the switch off. Hey, you said to Alec. This is just cool. It's a like, semi. Uh, How, uh, what about. Aluminum TIG oh, welder. Man. Aluminum TIG welder. Oh, gotta have it. Yo, that was epic! <laughs> that was sick, man. Fuck! You gotta have aluminum TIG, that's it. I mean, period. Or MIG, aluminum MIG. Who, right. Look around. I'm look going, around, I'm Adrian, going. look around. Yeah. Dude, I know is arm uh, Yo, the internet, ask the internet. Can we get an aluminum TIG welder? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, it's because I'm slow. I told them. My shit's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, it sounds angry. Great job, bud. Thank you. It's only 20 seconds, bud. That's what I'm saying. You don't need it. We're good, bro. Yeah, 20 seconds. We're all right. <laughs> Sorry if I scared you too much there. No, you're good. Is that fitting or did it come off the radiator? It's the radiator. Oh, uh, shit. You have a spare with you or not? No. Okay, no. if it was actual. Did I finish the run? Oh, it's Alex Paul. You're, you're in. Yeah, you got it. You're fine. Yeah. All right. Way to run. Are we going back? They gonna let you run it? All right, Jeff, you're gonna have to help me push it back. All right. Adrian, you're gonna have to help me push it back. Uh, not yet, not yet. If you have a union fitting, just join the two lines together. And run it for 20 seconds. Okay. You know, we needed a new radiator. Yo, Zach, can I, can I get to work? Don't touch it yet. I don't, I don't have it. No, you can, you can take it to your, you can push it to the pit, yeah. Hey, judges have it right Hey, Nate, get in it. But I'm gonna allow you. We got enough people to yeah, push. Yeah, I'm in, homie. Uh, Alex. Uh, 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 hey, I'm on now. I can do the job right now. 
Damn, that was crazy. Yeah, that was. Battle with Hannah Dale. That was sick. I stuck it to his door from what I can remember. My lead run, my car is running the worst it's ran all weekend, so a total error on my end. I just, I was going slower than him. We're coming in so hot! <laughs> Quick initiation. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude, we need to check the rear. Yep. Right rear. Yep. Like, we have to fucking check that shit. All right, Adrian, when we can, yeah. jack stands, yeah. all right? Jack stands, jack. Right? Alright guys, little update, this is about to be the gnarliest shit ever. I got about however many guys behind me. The game plan, my radiator off the Hanadale battle, uh, I had sheared it off and it failed. We were not able to fix it. So, we bypassed the radiator, so the water is just gonna go around the motor. It's gonna get hot really quick. They're gonna push me all the way to the burnout box, and then they have to set me free. I'm gonna try to coast all the way to the start line. I'll just start the motor and go super cold and hope I make it. Um, then from there, we have a little bit of a game plan afterwards, depending on what happens, but we'll keep you guys updated. on temperature 146 on temperature I don't know I mean the cars aren't like shit you call the five on the line I think they know what's up there everyone's on it It's just, it's not, it's just not running good yet. That was fucking good though, dude. I was there, bro. Fuck. You never know. You never know. You never know. I still got to run. Yeah. 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 It only said 146. I feel like it almost didn't get hot enough. Maybe. There's no point fucking leaving like, on what they're doing right now. It's at 146. You know what I mean? Like. Fuck it, dude. Do your burnout. Do, do, do a little fucking whiskey in a, in a burnout box. Yeah. And I can uh, get it up a little bit hotter than that. Yeah. And maybe it'll run better. Because I can just, I can do something, and then I can get to the line and stop it again. Yeah, so do that, and then just walk in the back and throw it. I know, back you can, I know. And then snap an angle, and yeah. the second time run it down as big as you can. Yeah. Obviously, he'll still keep it. Was that contact a st st strategy to you get your 15? What? Was that contact a 
strategy so you get your 15. Did I hit him? Yeah, you hit him in the door. You crush his door in. So now he calls his five? No, he's got 15. Oh. Because you, you crush his door in. Got you. <laughs> pick up, pick up. We're going to have to connect. We're going to have to get a look at his car. Come on. Oh, that's not good. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, what's up? Come on, Scott. This shit's crazy. Fucking run look good from what I can see. I, 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 I straightened a few times. You never know what could happen, but like, the car is not running good. No, it sounds shitty. Have you ever driven it at that low water temp before? No. Is it run shitty? I mean, it's already running shitty in the first place. You can't really tell. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. Did you get your windshield wiped down? It did, but it's wet again. I I straightened a few sections like my car. I think I almost didn't put enough heat into the motor. Well, I came it off. It was still in warm up enrichment. You need to let it run a little bit longer. Exactly. It came off the line and it was at like 156. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think it was enough heat in it. Right. But I bumped him and I straightened once, but you never know what can happen because he's got to right. follow me. Right. Right. Yes. Yes. Fucking when you go, just drive it right up. Yeah. I don't know where you're going. It's got great bro. Left side of the block on my side. No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run it from here to the. Let's go. Let him run it. Let him run it. Yeah. Let's wait. 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 Whenever he's ready to go. Oh, just start it up and go. Yeah. yeah. It's cold. I don't think it had enough heat in it. Uh -huh. I do not think the motor had enough heat in it. Okay. Okay. I came off the line at 156. Like, I mean, off the run. This one's always dirty. All right, guys, what up? Uh, just wanted to do a quick little recap. We've made it back home. Um, I think it would be just fun after all that chaos. Our, our camera actually had died. The vlog camera died towards the end of the night, and uh, obviously things got super hectic. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of the car's current status, and then, yeah, just say thank you guys for watching this episode. So if we look back here, we'll start in the back. Boom. This is me and Hanadale having a lot of fun. So we have some brackets that are bent. We have the 2F rear that's kind of destroyed. We had our radiator inlet just go to heaven. 
Uh, this was the coolest part. This was how we actually got to keep running. Uh, so Brandon McDowell and Andrew from Tyler Berry's team and a handful of other great dudes helped us out. But uh, check this quick fix out. Boom! So our radiator line obviously was supposed to come through here and use the entire radiator. We ended up just looping it to stay running. Uh, not what you want to do, but we had to do that. If we were to keep rolling around, I've got a, a really cool Ben Julian mark right here. So this is a nice other car wreck. And if we keep going around, we had a Troy Manners front end incident. So I think I got some headlight bracket work to do. She's, she's hanging on barely. What else? What else? Uh, I gave my front, sorry. I gave my front bumper to Ben Hobson. He is headed to Formula Drift. Um, so yeah, I figured he needed my 2F front bumper more than me to look good in New Jersey. Um, other than that, the issues on the car, we can talk a little bit about it right now, but the issues on the car are still not figured out. Uh, when there was a spike in the voltage, I really think that it had messed up the ECU. And as you guys just watched in this episode, we did all types of work to the car to try to fix it and make it run right. Um, but shout out to Golan Engine. Uh, we're, after this, we'll compression test the motor and kind of build a game plan on how to fix this whole thing. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. It's time to fix this car. Thanks for watching this episode. Good battles out there, everyone who drove with me. Love you guys. Later. <laughs>